this is the Besotted Pride of West London podcast. We're coming to you from the Etihad Stadium up in Manchester. Final whistle has just gone. Manchester City won, Brentford build. You might think this is a result to be expected, but to be quite honest with you, Brentford played really well today. Really well today and it's a little bit gutted actually that we got this result because the goal only came from a long ball. Defender slipped, Harlem was through, one on one of the keeper to score the goal. But to be fair, Brentford really, really deserved to get something out of this game. They played really well, but much, much, much different to the game up at Manchester City. But going with that Brentford, when Manchester City in the second hand went riot. We were really well organised. We had some chances. We probably could have got ahead. You know, Manchester City had their chances as well, but you would expect them to do. But to be fair, you know, a little bit disappointing. We're all a little bit disappointed here today. But the Brentford fans are clapping the team off the bloom of them down there. To be fair, frustrated. Frustrated. Tell you something. I'm just saying that we really deserve to get something out of this game, I thought, did you? I thought we gave them a really good game tonight, really good game. Beckham was quality, he had a couple of decent chances in the first half. Not to be proud of, we'll be fine this season. Oh, we know we're going to be fine this season. That's not, that's not even an issue. But it's just like, you know, Liverpool game, we came out of that game look, not looking too good. We made some really silly mistakes. Their goal came from a slip from one of our defenders. He came through. Yeah, if you saw the build-up to that goal, how lucky was that? Like, literally every piece of luck and then the slip as well. Should have got a point out of that. Should have got a point out of the game. But look, at the end of the day, we can hold our hands up high. What we're going to say is that, you know, we're not expected to beat City, but neither are any of the teams around us expected to beat City. So what's happened here has happened, isn't it? Yeah, no, not many teams will come to this place and give them a game like that. No, no, no. I think a lot to be proud of, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see their fans are very, they're delighted that they got a win against the mighty, mighty bees, aren't they? They remembered what happened last year, that's why. That's right, that's right. Ivan Tony's throwing his shirt into the crowd there because that's the kind of guy that he is. Tell you something, disappointing today, wasn't it? Because I thought we should have got something out of this game. Definitely, mate. Definitely, mate. Yeah. You know, deserve the point. You deserve the point. I mean, at the end of the day, Brentford here, we played our hearts out, we played really well. Manchester City, we, we went toe to toe with them, didn't we? All day long, mate. Better team, I thought, first half. Definitely better team you were first half. Beast, better team of first half. A little later. Nice one, mate. Yeah, there you go. Got characters in the house. Disappointed. Listen, disappointed. Listen, I, I'm, I'm a bit disappointed with that, just because I thought we should have got something out of the game. Yeah, mate, they're a really, really good team, aren't they? And yet again, we've. We've valiantly tried, but it's just not good enough in certain areas. Now, am I getting a bit bored with clapping our valiant effort off the pitch when we're giving goals away to mistakes? You know, all the effort we put in, and we slip or we miss kick, and no one's doing that against us, right? You know, we had the chances where we had, they got one real, uh, two decent chances, really, and they missed one in the first half. Um, so it's just frustrating, isn't it? It's not the game that you need to win to, to get the points on the ball, but there was points to be had again, a bit like Liverpool, and um, we frustrated them. Even after the goal, we came at them, I thought, and we still tried. You know, you get the ball back when you haven't had it for seven minutes. Don't just give it straight back to them again. You know, do something with it. And I don't know. I don't know. Let's, let's, let's worry about games that we, <laughs> we need to get something out of. Yeah. It's getting a bit dull losing now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a Manchester City. Yeah. <laughs> We're laughing. There you go. Listen, there you go ahead of me. Listen, I laughed beforehand. I'll get my little rant about Manchester City saying it's boring playing Manchester City because the big one is if you, you know, it's like playing Monopoly and somebody else having all the houses on the Monopoly boards. You know, look at that, the quality of them out there. To be quite honest with you, the quality of the players that they had out there, to be quite honest with you, they should have been home and dry. But they weren't home and dry. They were, they were huffing and puffing against the bees today. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't say they were off. Some of their shooting was off, their passing was off. And also, you know, I think maybe Frank the Tank on Yeka, they're probably confused. They didn't understand why he was in the middle of the pitch there. Frank the Tank on Yeka, just confusing the hell out of the Manchester City lot as well. Disappointed. A little bit disappointed, don't you think? Yeah, I mean, uh, you might. I don't know, but you're, you're not going to take that before the game. But I don't know. It was, it, you know, I, I we think could have got more. We were set up, weren't we, to, to not to let a goal in as best we could, and then try and hit them on the break. And I think the plan was reasonably well executed. Um, it was just a, an eye slip, wasn't it? I think. I think the main thing is that you got to say. We haven't got to play Man City again this season. So for all the teams that have, that's a game in hand. And in three games' time, we haven't got to play Man City, Liverpool, or Arsenal again this season. So, you know, it, 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 in a way, they're sort of they're games in hand, aren't they, against teams that are around us? They're very good, Man City. They kept the ball for, for the last oh, nine right. minutes. Oh, they kept the ball for eight of them, didn't they? Yeah. And then we were, you know, you know, we huffed and we puffed and we had that little chance at the end. And 
maybe on one of our days that goes in for us. But, but that hasn't happened this season for us at all. So, so along with everything else, all the injuries, you get the bad luck with our tripping up today and then right at the end, you don't get any luck. Yeah. Um, and that's kind of the story of the season. But it wasn't a, te- you know, it, it, was a, it was a perfectly fine performance, good game plan, um, but we just didn't quite manage to execute. I'm going to ask you a question. Uh, 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 how, how many times was the last time that you saw one of our goalkeepers in the opposite penalty area? I uh, mean, Flecken in the, in the last minutes of the game was actually in the Manchester City penalty area for the corner, looking to put the ball in the back of the net. Yeah, actually, he's done it once this season, hasn't he? I think Raya did it a couple of times as well. I don't think it's you know, it's um, it's something you do when you're a goal down um, and you get a you, you get a corner. It's what you do, isn't it? I think he was quite eager to go up for the throw in. Because he yeah. sort of he approached the halfway line towards um, towards Thomas Frank for that, but yeah, I mean, it, you know, you just feel that one day something like that will come off for us this season, but it but it isn't and it hasn't, and um, and that's it. You bees, you bees. Got the liberal Nick in the house. He's come all the way from somewhere far to come up here. Do you think you've had a wasted journey? No, not at all. Actually, I think you know one mishap, mistake, call it what you will. Uh, Disappointing to leave here, having lost to that one goal from the flat track bully that is Erlen Harland. Um, I say that in jest. I, you know, that, no, you was a, that was a much better performance from the bees uh, today than than, than against Liverpool. Um, you know, it, it gives encouragement. Um, it shows that we can battle these top teams, and they are, as they like to claim at the end of the game. Well, they didn't claim; they are the world club champions. Um, good, good luck to them. But I thought we put in a good performance today. Just as I said, just a shame about that mistake mishap. But we'll move on and uh, bring on the Arsenal. Yeah, bring on the Arsenal. Yes, indeed. I thought we'd done. We got bees. We got we got more bees in the house here. There's the north. The, this is the Yorkshire bees, you know, the, <laughs> the northern. So you haven't come too far to go. You've got to go far to go. No, um, no, no. So so not long journey. But to be fair, you know, bees did all right today, and it's a little bit of a disappointing result, isn't it? A little bit disappointing because it was only one nil. Um, but I thought we played really well in the first half. Uh, really good team. Team spirit was fantastic tonight. Team really tried and tried and tried. We kept, uh, yeah, we've done all right. We've done all right. I'm well buzzing with them. I mean, it was an expected loss. It's a bonus, isn't it, really, to come to Man City and even get anything. So to lose one nil at Man City ain't a heartbreaker. A goal difference ain't a killer. So, yeah, we've, we've done well. I'm proud of the team tonight. Proud. Proud of the team. Proud. But look, after the Liverpool game, we got a bit of a tonking there. Even Manchester City second half, boom, they turned us over and everything like that. So we've come down here, free hit, you know, if anything happens. But as the game was going, nil all first half, he thought, hold on a second here. Second half, we're getting right in there. Yep. Give it, you know, ball, you know, they're saving the balls. You know, we had chances and everything like that. Didn't you think at some stage, actually, we might nick this? If Tony got in the box a little bit more on the headers, but Tony was trying to sort of win everything for the team, I thought if Tony got in the box to a cross, we could have won that. But it was about getting that man in the box to, to finish it. But I thought we could have won that, yeah. In the first half, we certainly could have scored. It was a bit like last season, really, today's match in the first half, I thought. You know, we had chances, we just didn't put them away. Um, but as I say, it's... It, it, it's a bonus game in it, City. Everybody expects to lose. You, do, you can't come away here disappointed when you won, when you're losing one two, one nil to Man City. To world the champions. world champions. World champions, isn't that? At the end of the day, every player they brought on, you know, they're bringing off the bench internationals, who are not just internationals, but they're stars of their international teams. You know what? What, what chance have we got against teams like that? And yet we we done ourselves proud tonight. I'm I'm absolutely chuffed to bits with our performance. Just a bit through the team. I thought they fought really hard. Just lacking that, just lacking that goal. That's all we were doing, lacking that goal. But if Tony had played in the box a little bit more, I thought we could have we, we could have won that. But we didn't get it out to the wings to be and cross it. We, we we just couldn't get it out to the wings and cross it in uh, to to let the big boys in. But um, I thought we'd done all right. I'm I'm proud, very proud. You bees, you bees, all the time. So yeah, back in the booze, had plenty of time for reflection. Characters around the table here, night and day, Oldham Street, Manchester. Yeah, we passed through the Ancoats area as well early as well. Ancoats, mate, definitely come up in the world since we used to come here back in the day when we used to go to Castlefield, the Barca, where the old character used to. Uh, what was his name? The old Simply Red, um, the Mick Hucknall, Mick Hucknall's bar. That's where we used to go to in the 90s but now Manchester's moved north sides 
And like, forget the the, the quarters, forget the 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 the, 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 the what the jewellery quarter. Forget that, mate. It's all about the end coats now as well. But we've come back to an old haunt as well down in uh, Oldham Street, the night and day, just down the road from where the dry bar is. All the old school hacienda characters might remember dry bar and all that kind of stuff. But we're here. But I'll we'll talk to a lady. Just had a bit of a reflection on this game today, and um, you're quite happy with what happened not happy is probably not but happy if, if, if that makes sense yeah I, I think if you compare the performance on Saturday against Liverpool where we didn't do ourselves justice um, we we played the world champions tonight and we no, no, Leeds are the world champions <laughs> Leeds yeah um, we, we actually did do ourselves justice and it was obviously clearly always going to be a defensive mindset tonight you know you, you know what Man City can do to you you know we, we, we I, know, I drove up today you got the train up today you, you come up here with trepidation you come up here fearing the worst you know we 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 did we didn't get our pants pulled down and not only didn't we we did we did we not get our pants pulled down we we looked like really really like organized structured we caused man city problems um frank on should have scored if not scored um, tested the goalkeeper a bit more than he did. Um, Ivan Tony's free kick was allegedly very, very close. Um, and, then, you know, and of course, Man City are going to get lo- loads and loads of possession, loads and loads of chances. You know, Ben Mee's clearing, clearing off the goal line in the first half kept us in it, and we were counting down the minutes in the second half and then you know it was re- really galling to see the the substitution of you know i'm not going to blame the substitution but you know more pay came on and we went off and we almost kind of conceded straight away from that you know we were pushing for a goal and um the um you know the clearance from at one of our attacks and then you know Aya slips and Harlan's clean through and then you know they there was always I you know I felt that I was waiting for a massive roar from the Etihad and it and it came in the end and I, I yeah disappointed that we didn't get a bit more from that because I, I thought the performance was there I, I honestly thought you know it it could it could have been nil nil um but we, we don't seem to be getting those results this season. You know, obviously, we, you know, we won at Chelsea and we're, 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 we're going to get a couple more memorable wins before the end of this season. I know that. But, you know, we, we're, we're sitting around this table and, you know, night and day and we're, we're reminiscing about last season, knowing that it was always going to be difficult to equal it, to better it. I'm not sure that was possible without a lot of things going our way and, you know, injuries. Without, without Brian and Bumo tonight and without Rico Henry tonight, I don't, I don't think we could have got a lot more out of that game. We've got no real whip. We've got no real pace at the moment. And that's not, that's not slagging off our team. That's just like saying that the, the situation in our squad with our injuries, with our Hickey, with our, with our um, uh, Rico, with our um, Brumo, with our KLP being in an advanced position, it's always going to be really tough. So, I, you know, I'm really proud of Brentford tonight. I'm proud to be a Brentford fan. I, I always am being proud to be a Brentford fan. But tonight, you know, going ag- against the world champions, we've done ourselves justice. And that's all you can really hope for. That is all you can hope for. This is Besotted Pride of West London Podcast coming to you from Manchester late night in Manchester. This is probably going to go up on, uh, on, 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 in the, on Wednesday morning now. <laughs> it's one of them ones like, you know, characters are leaving. There's all sorts of cheering going on. Yeah, see you later, characters. I'm saying so. Listen, don't forget to buy us a beer, besotted.com forward slash beer. There's all sorts of deliberations. Should we go to Nashville? Should we not go to Nashville? Um, the Americans out there know exactly what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. We're talking about what's it talking about? It's talking about the the what's it, the fan the fan fest Nashville for the the Premier League fan fest. So the question mark is going as to whether or not we should tuck in or not. I don't know. We shall see. There's reasons not for going. There's reasons for going. I'm saying Brentford. 
they're doing all right over here so maybe a change of scenery might do it okay but other than that i'm sitting down there i'm just muttering and talking to myself here i've had a, i've had a good day i've had a good evening i've had characters we're sitting down here we've easy got life. we've got the man city we've got an easy life easy as well life. Easy, easy life we've got maybe man city didn't quite go to plan but as i said to you there's three teams Liverpool didn't happen, Manchester didn't happen, so Arsenal, mate, it's all on you now. Yeah, we're gonna take we're gonna take the three points off of Arsenal. Trust me as you've got to say. Come on! Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. See that's late night Manchester. We've taken this place over. You mean.